Terrence recently talked about moving up to 154 if he can't end up locking down the Spence fight. Have, have you talked to Terrence at all? Is, is, no, not at all. Um, I have not. What do you think about that move? Him, you know, obviously I, I, the guy he was talking about going to was Charlo uh, Castaño winning. Yeah, well, Terrence, Terrence is, is right as of right now is my number one pound pound fighter in the game, and I got him that because no one stopped Sean Porter. No one stopped Sean Porter. Sean Porter is for top after top opposite, opposition after opposition, uh, and he's competed. Yes, you know some of the big fights he he did lose, but you know he fought against you know pound for pound guys, and none of those pound for pound guys stopped him, but Crawford did. So that means something. But, um, you know, to answer your question, I like the move. I think it's a great move. Um, I think that Terrence, whatever division he goes into, I think he has an, uh, an abilities and a mindset to be able to dominate it. 154 to get the winner of Castaño and Charlo. I, I think he can do it possibly and get that fight. But, I mean, he ain't really, I mean, he ain't really test the waters at 54 yet. You know, um, not a whole lot of notoriety at 54. There's other guys that probably came before him, even though he's my number one pound for pound. But I think those that can be used as an excuse or whatnot, you know, not to face him. Well, you know, we're hearing he's not known. He's not this. He's not. And Terrence is a bad boy, man. He's a bad boy. And I want to see him in the ring with anybody. It don't matter. Anybody. Just somebody step into the ring with that guy. Ideally, the Spence Ugas winner, right? I mean, that. Or, or yeah, like... yeah. You know, I, 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 I've been following Spence in the lead up to the Ugas fight, and I have to say that I'm starting to actually like him. Um, you know, um, you know, people always say I say bad things about him or whatever. No, I just, I, I just want to see a fight. I like to press the issue, and I see how how certain guys move, and, and I just, I question it. Um, but. Um, I, I think I think he knows that if he wins this fight against Lucas, I think he knows that he's going to have to take that leap of faith. I, I think he understands that his health is extremely important. He knows that now. Um, and he wants to be 100%, you know, and he wants to feel 100% mentally. So he's taking his Lucas fight as, as almost like a test. And then if everything goes out the right way and he feels good in the ring, then I think I think that he we will see that Spence Crawford fight, you know, um, either later this year or early in 2023. I think we could, but I think we will see it. He can be at 54, it can be at whatever, I, you know. But I, I really do think that we'll see. It. Time has come, man. I hope so. Yeah. Thank you so much, Tim. Hey Tim, uh, you know uh, Canelo's favorite words: payday, payday, payday. You know? Payday. Payday. You, you know, you want. To I like paydays. <laughs> That's good. You know? Good. There's, uh, he's scheduled for three fights. You know, he thinks that you know the uh, Benavides, the Charlos, the Andrade should fight each other, and then you know where the winner of those should fight him towards the end. Do you actually think any of these fighters, any of these three fighters, have a chance in, in beating Canelo? Uh, you said Boo Boo, uh, Andrade, you have David Benavides, and uh, Charlo. I think that any fighter that gets in the ring has a chance. Okay. Um, I, I think that. I think what it's about is, is is what Canelo is. It's about the bread. It's right. about the bread. Boo Boo is a is, is a great champion. He's a tremendous boxer. He really is. He looked good his last time out. Um, but you know we have all these expectations for Canelo, but we're not putting any expectations on these other guys. You know, is it because Canelo's the cash cow? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. He's saying, okay, y'all going to put expectations on me. Well, I'm going to put expectations on you. If you want to fight me, because I'm the shot caller, right. this is what you need to do. Fight each other first, and then, you know what, then maybe, just maybe, you can get a shot at the cash cow, man. Canelo just acting, hey, he's being the businessman that he should be, right. you know. Um, he is, right now, he is keeping boxing together. He truly is. Um, and... I, I'm sitting back, and I and there's a lot of young talent that's coming up, um, and I'm I'm looking for the next guy that can you know transcend in the sport and, and, and become a top dog. And when Canelo leaves out, we're gonna be it's, we're gonna be dying. You remember when Floyd and Pacquiao retired, and it was kind of weird. It was like then everybody started leaning towards Chocolatito, the small dude. Like it was unreal. It felt weird, didn't it? Yeah, it's like wait, hold up, huh? This little dude really? So um, now. I mean, 
I'm always looking ahead and, and seeing if I can see or if I can predict who's going to be the next face of it. I don't know right now. There's so much talent at top rank, I can tell you, right now. Um, but Canelo, as of right now, is holding this sport together. We need we need Canelo in our sport, man. Um, and uh, he can do. At, I mean, he can do pretty much as he please. He's the man. Is Boots maybe that guy? That guy coming up? Um, Boots is Boots is a fantastic fighter. He kind of reminds me of, of, of like Crawford in a sense, uh, just with his style. He has that flash, that pizzazz to go along with him. Uh, he has a you know a good personality, great personality to go along with himself. He's confident. He speaks with a tons of confidence, which is great, and people like that. Um, I I I don't know. I you know I don't know. You gotta you know you gotta. I, I want to continue to see Boots. You know, move up in the division. I know he's calling out the best names. The best names, he's not afraid. He wants that action. As he should. I mean, the dude almost got 30-something fights, and he got all of them almost by knockout. Uh, you know, tremendous power. He got, he got some bows. He got punching power. He got he, Anybody can catch that fade with him. That boy can punch, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, he can punch and just southpaw, orthodox. Uh, it just He got it all. He has it all. And he got a little bit of that, like, you know that uh that that Roy Jones is s type of stuff in them. I, I dig it. Oh yeah, I dig it. Boots is a bad boy.